I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. During my work meetings, when I'm not really needed for any particular thing, but I need to be there, I wind up doing my workouts. So I'm doing my push-ups and my squats, and I got some weights over here, so I'll be doing some curls and things like that. And uh, I just hope that I don't get called on <laughs> during these meetings because I'll actually have my headset on with a little microphone like ready to go just in case but luckily nobody has uh, called on me yet because it would be really weird I'd be deep breathing and uh, they would think like what the hell's wrong with this guy but don't tell anyone all right don't tell anyone that's that's our little secret all right so today we're gonna talk through how to assess whether you are a great fit for a particular team one of the things that I think is a bit of a myth in the, in the job seeker market is that companies have cultures. And, and yes, they do have cultures, um, but I think that cultures are really largely driven by one or two members of your team, the manager and your manager's manager. Anything outside that kind of like microcosm of people and the group that you're in, the culture doesn't necessarily matter to you, right? The only culture that matters to you or that should matter to you uh, is the, the, the people that you're gonna be surrounding yourself with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so you see these videos out there uh, from companies, their you know, marketing ploys about like, come work for us, it's the most amazing thing. And you, know, you see dogs uh, hanging out in the office and people smiling and what have you. And like, you know, uh, that's what marketers do, right? They, they don't show you the problems underneath the covers and every company has them, but the way to avoid that, because even if the company is completely falling apart and you have an amazing manager and your manager's manager is amazing, then you're gonna have a great experience at the company that is actually falling apart, right? Because the people that are surrounding you um, are insulating you from everything else and, and your little team is, is largely insulated from, from everything going on kind of you know, on, on the exterior of the company. And so one example of this uh, for me was that the first team I was on at Amazon was not a great fit for me at all. Um, you know, I don't need to necessarily get into details about why, but there was a lot of politics going on in the team. Um, there was a lot of like strained backstabby type things going on. I'm not sure what exactly was happening. I can't necessarily point to like one particular thing. It was just a series of different things that all laddered up to being a really weird cultural um, environment. And I thought joining the company that well, Amazon just must be like this. And so I was actually kind of really getting down on myself and thinking, well, maybe I need to switch companies. This is a really terrible environment for me. Um, but I wound up switching teams and the team that I'm on now and the team that I've been on for over a year now is amazing. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on video and because my teammates see this video, right? Like I truly mean that the people that I work with are incredible people. And the reason why, the reason why I have such a great experience is because my manager is great and my manager's manager is also great. Everything beyond that, right? Like all the political spheres and things going on outside of that world don't, don't affect me on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And so companies have leadership principles, right? Like Amazon has uh, their leadership principles and, and we, we talk about those leadership principles all the time. They're, they're guiding principles for a lot of our conversations. But as far as a culture, and the experience that you are going to have within an organization, it is dependent specifically on the boss and the boss's boss, right? So there's a couple questions that I really want uh, to, to you know, talk through that you should ask during an interview to make sure that the culture within the microcosm of your team is actually going to be good or not. Don't necessarily fall for the rah-rah marketing videos, right? You wanna take the opportunity during an on-site interview or during your phone screens, when they ask you uh, about what questions you have, you wanna take the opportunity to really dig in and understand what the culture is like, okay? So I wrote down a couple questions here. The very first one is how long have you been here? Do you like it? Really simple question. With any of these questions, you wanna look out for what is not being said, right? Um, and, and what is being said, and is it aligned with a really good culture or not? Uh, what are the causes for conflict in this organization? What types of people seem to be successful in our specific group? Not within the company as a whole, you only care about within this specific group. If you could do one thing to improve culture, what would it be? 
right? Once again, look for the things that are not being said. And then what do you love and not love about working here, right? So you could take one or two of these questions, maybe take one per person if you're in on-site and you're, and you're you know, interviewing with multiple people. And, um, and hopefully these, these will really help you dig in to determine if, uh, if you feel as if you're gonna be a good fit for just that group, right? Because that's the most important thing. And remember, at every organization, culture is very different from team to team. You're gonna find this at every company, not just Amazon. Um, and, uh, and that's really important to look out for. Okay, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully these tips help you try to figure out if you're gonna be a great fit for the particular team or uncover things that make you feel like it may not be a good spot for you. So if you like the video, definitely hit the like button. Uh, definitely subscribe. Got a lot more videos that are career related and LinkedIn related that are coming for you. Videos are coming out every week and uh, definitely leave some comments uh, as well. I try to get to those as quickly as possible between my day job and all the stuff I do on LinkedIn and YouTube and everything. So uh, bear with me. It might take a little bit to get back. Uh, that's it. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you in the next video.